Good morning, world, and welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. Where I say good morning, my boy. Where are your clothes, my boy? There they are, my boy. Where are your socks? You can't wear them. They're mine. With my oats on the go. We are out of here. And after a lovely stroll through the village, I've made it to my destination of mums and tots. Makes you question, what am I doing here? Well, that is what I'm doing here. And that. And that. And these oats on the go, absolute winner. Aren't you glad I brought him to his first mums and tots experience with me? And he's fast asleep. What a bloke. And what a nice way to start a day. Getting out the house for a bit of fresh air. And oh, we're certain someone's awake now, are we? I don't believe it. But as we're rolling back home to the houses, I can hear someone at the house next door. Oh, and it's Andy. Let me guess, you're tackling that cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, bro. What a legend, making sure our house and garden is clean and tidy. I've just checked in with Ryan about the vlog because he needed a bunch of stuff like screenshots and videos to make it perfecto. And grandma is here with oh, Alfredo. And I almost did say this to you straight away. Did you bring any clothes? Because grandma doesn't just make any clothes. She makes the cutie. What? That looks like you'd buy it off a shelf or something. That's so cute. Oh, it's so soft and it's got little ears. Picture on screen of what he looks like wearing it. Oh my gosh. Grandma is just the best. But I think we need to pause the baby stuff in today's vlog. That's all it would have been. Babies, babies, babies. So let's talk shenanigans. You know the other day when I spent about 19 billion hours making that plate for the gate? Which I'm very proud of. Well, it would seem in the comments section, all the attention got taken away from that absolutely amazing contraption I've devised. And in instead got redirected at the state of my gates. Because oh my gosh, the comment section was everyone just rose to me saying, Tom, get rid of them and get some new ones. And in fairness, I can kind of see where people are coming from because um, that's not the best thing to ever see. They've definitely seen better days, but they're 10 years old. And I'd like to point out that they've never been treated once in the entire time since they've been installed. My bad. But a potential opportunity has arisen today from a phone call that I had from a certain someone. I'm not going to name names just yet because I'm trying to see where this goes. But I got a phone call of someone saying, Tom, I've got a friend that owns a gate company. And I'm like, oh, here we go. What are they going to say? Your gates look like shit. You need to get some new ones. I'm well aware. But no, instead, the conversation went along the lines of they would like to replace your gates for free. Be gone, rot. Be gone, plate. We may have an opportunity for a brand new gate. Now I'd like to get excited, but we're gonna put a pin in it. Because in life, if something sounds too good to be true, the chances are it probably is. But if you've got something in this state, is it worth taking the risk? Because right now, we down bad. So I say, if these guys are up for it, we risk it for a biscuit. Just gonna take that off there, and that off there, and that off there, and that. Uh. My bloody gates have got dandruff. Right, I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes with the gate situation. But I'm heading downstairs into the, oh! What's happened with my clean basement? I don't, I, I don't even know. To make things even worse, I may or may not have totally forgot that I've got a physio in Berry City Centre and I've got to be there in T minus 35 minutes. So we better get going. I don't care what anyone says. I have definitely got short term memory loss. I can't believe I forgot about this. But to make things worse, I'm setting off at 10 to 4 on a freaking Wednesday. There's going to be traffic on the motorway the entire time because it's rush hour. Well, I've made it to Berry City Centre with pretty good time. However, I am officially going to be running uh, four minutes late. Not the proudest of moments, but honestly, I, when I say I think I've got short-term memory loss, the amount of times a day I go, I'm going to go do this. I walk into a room and I forget. It's, it's unreal. Like, actually, my granddad had dementia, right? So, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 99% sure. It's hereditary. Is that right? Am I wrong? I have no idea, but um, yeah, as long as you guys keep me on track, we should be A-O-K. But uh, let's get to the physio and hope Sam's not going to beat me up just a little bit more to make up for me being late. And I have arrived at my destination. I hate running late to things, but I swear it's just, it's, it, it's in my blood. My sister is the exact same. Yeah, you know I'm running late. Can I use the bathroom as well, please? <laughs> Last week I was early, all right? So I'm, I'm adding and subtracting. Uh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting as well, mate. I thought I was coming in for the usual. We dig in there, we talk about what we can do, but instead, what's going on? Hey! <laughs> 
about to like weld me together. Shut. Yeah. Oh. I did say, I was like, I'm going to be late. I bet he's going to be even oh, rougher with me I'm today. Cool and the answer today. was, he is going to be. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, it is weird. Ooh. Oh, it is weird, it is weird. This is sort of rapid vibrations that we're targeting in your subacromial space. And um, this is to reduce any inflammation of the tendons that sit in that room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can um, feel it. Especially yeah. with having sore shoulders after the gym. It's combined, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that won't feel too great. Oh. But it's not too bad. So we're really targeting these sore areas now. Yeah. Do you yeah. know how to describe that like? Oh, I'm just fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, almost like a toothache. Yeah, like a dull, yeah, yeah, like a dull yeah, toothache. Yeah, like a dull toothache. That's pretty normal. Um, some people say it feels like electric shocks. Well, yeah, yeah, I could, yeah, I could definitely see that one as well, yeah. Do you think it's going to be a big crack? Are you doing some exercise? Yeah, it feels like there might be. But you were only here a couple of weeks ago, so. Right, if you take a breath in for me. And breathe out. Oh! Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, we like that one. And again, breath in and breathe out. We got them all in that first try. Nice. That was good. There man. we are, that was good. Two weeks time. Pleasure. See you then. You know what? Even though we electrocute me today, it actually wasn't too painful. And I don't know whether that's something to do with like working my upper body and everything. And when I put my hand up in the air and lower it, I'm not getting the click that I've had in my shoulder as often. So I tell you what, this gym business, whew, I think it might be working wonders. Oh, it is now nearly 10 past five. Traffic getting home is gonna be absolutely brutal. And I feel like I've done nothing with my day. Cause something I didn't vlog earlier was Lydia's family came round who live in Bermuda, you know, like the on screen now, the triangle where planes disappear into. They live there. It was absolutely amazing to see them, but we just catched up and, and chatted for like two hours, but it wasn't exactly anything that I was going to film. It was just like a nice family moment. Um, and I feel like I've lost my entire day. So I need to turn today round, get motivated, and get some shit done. And what a way to do that by going sitting in traffic. <laughs> I've spoke to Sam, I'm like, dude, we need to change the time in which we have this session because spending like, what, two hours out of my day just sat in traffic is not it. And now I might as well be driving in the pitch bloody black. Oh my cracky Joe, and this guy, mate. You break lights out! A whopping 50 minutes later. I am home sweet home and I've got the most adorable thing to show you. Oh my gosh. Lydia's mum just chilling with little dude. My heart. Is he fast asleep? Oh, do you want a brew? Yeah. Okay. But I blooming will. Because welcome to the behind the scenes of me trying to get the vlog live for 7 p.m. on the dot. And look who's here! It's Mama Bear! She's been for a facial. And by the looks of it, so have I. Look at my face on the thumbnail for yesterday's vlog. Somewhat terrifying, but I will admit I was very excited to receive like 20 firearms that now are in my basement. Still a little bit worried after this vlog's gone live that the police are gonna turn up at my door. But hopefully it's to do with the phone call about the not a flamethrower rather than me getting raided. Cause these things are now going for two and a half grand. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making stupid mistakes. <laughs> oh, bless you. There's usually five more after that. Is that it? No? We're good? Okay. I'm making stupid mistakes. Go on. Right. I'm sick of getting abused every time I pick up your phone to film a clip. Because we're going to stop this now and use Lydia's front-facing camera to show you how bad it is. This is not supposed to look like this in the slightest. And the reason why it does, and yet don't start this, is because she scratched the lens. Now, this is issue one. And... Issue two, which is not really an issue. <laughs> Look but... at Alfie's face. <laughs> <laughs> but I caught myself regretting the other day not upgrading. Oh my gosh, give me my child. <laughs> no. Wait, I'm trying to tell a coherent story. Don't use your hands. <laughs> <laughs> try and speak. Try and speak without your hands. I, I speak with my hands. Yeah, I know. I'm an expressive person. I caught myself the other day regretting the first time never upgrading from the iPhone 14 to the 15. Because when that Typhoon plane was over the house, when I zoomed in, it looked like a pixel. And I know from experience of using my friend's iPhone 15 Pro Max that the zoom is incredible. Mm -hmm. And I kicked myself because I was like, why didn't I just upgrade? I upgrade every year, I get all the perks of the camera and I chose not to do it. So right now, I'm sat here at 
20 past 8 at night and I'm about to check out for a new iPhone 15 Pro Max to pick up at the Trafford Centre in the next 45 minutes. Tell the story of how this actually begun, though. First, Lydia was getting a new phone. <laughs> Lydia needs a new phone because it's scratched. And this has turned into Tom's getting a new phone. <laughs> And Lydia's having his hand-me-downs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but look how bad the quality is. No, no, no. The actual context of this, right, is, hear me out. I want the upgrade, okay? You I need... love the upgrade as well, babe. I... Thank you. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I want the upgrade, all right? You can then have my phone so you don't have a scratch screen. Oh, and then, you. and You're then so kind. Your family member that you said needs a new phone can have the old phone but we will have a scratch front-facing camera and we just won't talk about it. <laughs> Even he thought that was a, a long-winded way to say, We're going to the Trafford Centre! <laughs> I know, bro. I know. So, are you ready for adventure? <laughs> Get, getting shit done. I honestly can't believe I'm doing this right now. But it is legitimately available for pickup today. It's currently... 8.28 p.m. The order is ready, so we're going. And oh my gosh, yes! Look at this, my little T-Rex ready for adventure. Let me see him. Oh, he's smiling. Rawr. That's so cute. Rawr. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Rawr. I said there was going to be no more baby content today, but this is A-OK. -okay. Late night adventure. Here we go. And I got us here by 9 p.m. on the dot. Oh! This next step should be really simple. Taking my ID to the Apple store. And they hand me a phone. Well, that was a much faster process than I was expecting because we've already got the phone. Good success. I can't believe how much of a smooth process that was. We're done already. So Lydia wants to go and look at Builder Bears to see what they've got for Chinese New Year. And it would seem they got nothing. Oh my gosh, I was just about to say, I thought they got rid of the jelly cat section. But look at this entire new section they've got. Look at these ones, the little walks. Lydia is a woman on a mission. We're going to the big Builder Bear shop to see if they have any seasonal ones in here. We've got Valentine's Day, but no Chinese New Year. Valentine's. I'm sorry, little dude. Online only. Online only. <laughs> you want to see it get built? I want to kiss the heart. And put the heart in it. I want to record my voice saying, Congratulations! Yeah. What's that about? Just have to stick with you being a dinosaur. We're taking you to your homeland. <laughs> Pretty accurate, to be fair. And look at that. And now you're on the Titanic. Whoa. Look at this place. Wow. Oh, oh, wait. What? What? Wait. What? Am I get? Are you taking a lifeboat? Don't let go. <laughs> Don't let go. Well, I'm glad you came back off the lifeboat. We were gonna try this place for dinner, but apparently it closed at half past nine. And it's now 9.35 and it turns out everywhere else is closed. So Lydia's having ice cream. And it looks really good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. She did not get ice cream. She got, what it, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what a shot that was. We get sorbet. Yeah. Oh. That, that, let me just show you what this place does. All the desserts, all the ice creams, and crepes and waffles. I'm very sad that I'm not getting anything right now. But I'm going to say this. I think that's as good as. I'm not going to think it's better. You're about to upset some Italians. I think it's as good as the Italians in the Snowflake in the Trafford Centre is getting rave reviews from Lydia. That lemon sorbet. I tried a little bit, it's very good. Time to brace the cold outdoors. It's apparently supposed to be that cold tonight that they put out weather warnings that it's gonna snow tomorrow. So snow day, snow day, snow day. And what am I gonna have to do tonight? Grit. Yes. We're gonna pre-grit this time so the drive doesn't get iced over rather than putting grit over the ice that's already there. Right. Ready to go inside? Let the screams begin. Or not. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Safe to say uh, he didn't like the car ride home. But mission accomplished. I'm gonna bang this bad boy on charge. Back this one up to the cloud. And I'd say T minus 25 minutes, we might be rocking and rolling with the new phone. Let's see if I'm right. But first, we feast. Cheesy chicken pasta. Mm. Very nice. Unboxing time. Oh, come on, I thought it was gonna slide out smoothly. Would probably help if I took the sticker off. And take two. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. 
That looks the exact same as my last one. <laughs> oh, it's very nice and very new. And something I completely forgot. It's now USB-C. Oh. Peel pawn time. Look at that. A completely unscratched screen. Can I just borrow your phone for a second just to showcase something? <laughs> this is what my new screen looks like. And this oof, is Lydia's. Did we think it was like a set of keys in your pocket that did it or something? Don't know, it's literally been like that since yeah. day second. Like day literally, we got it. And then a few days later, I was like, oh, there's something on your lens. And then I looked at it and it was just scratched to all hell. We're throwing out there um, a story. Uh, the whole thing is that we've got Apple Care. So you're like, oh, if your screen's damaged and you smashed it or whatever, you go and they basically replace it for you. That's the whole point of having Apple Care. But because this class is as a scratch, not a smashed phone, they don't replace it. So when we've spoke to people before, they've gone, yeah, what you just need to do is, and their example was, you need to go away and basically drop the phone. Uh, and then when it's smashed, go back in and for 25 quid, they'll replace the glass. Seems like a bit of a backward system, but that's what you get told to do. Oh, oh i tell you something. This feels like it's got smoother edges and it does actually feel really, really nice. And it's got the new mute button on the side. So rather than a switch, it's a button. And this, I think rather than that being a lock button for the phone now, could be wrong. I think it's an action button. So let's turn it on. Boom, 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 boom. I think it's still the power switch. Hey. It is. I paid attention to the little sticker thing that was stuck on the front of it. And it looks like we're ready to go. Swipe up. Ooh, and that's efficient. It actually looks for a nearby device for it to be able to set up with. So rather than me having to type anything in by hand, it just does it. Isn't that for ages? Really? I'm sure it did that last time I changed my phone. Okay, did not know that. Oh, well that failed. I've had to set it up the old school way via the iCloud. And it says it's got an estimated 188.7 gigabytes worth of restoring progress. Do you remember when I said it was gonna take 25 minutes? That was an hour ago. Seems like this is gonna take a while, even with my super fast internet. So I'm gonna leave that there, grab a head torch, and attempt a 200 IQ mega play. I'm gonna need two orange buckets for this task at hand. I'm gonna need a drill, <sighs> a very specific drill bit, and then I'm gonna commit a cardinal sin. You were a good boy, but it's for the greater good. Oh shit, the bed. Okay, I'm gonna take out the ceiling. And let me show you why. Because what I want to do right now is create the Gritter Grit Grit 9000. And effectively, what I want to do is put grit into this and be able to scatter it on my drive without having to pick it up going like this and throwing it in just massive chunks and portions. So, what I'm thinking is, we drill a bunch of holes in this and cr effectively create a grit sieve. So when I spin the bucket, the grit goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. But the thing is, if I drill a load of holes in it and then put grit in it, it's just gonna fall out everywhere. And this is where my addiction to orange buckets comes into play for a whopping pound. Because all I'm gonna do is take this one, put this one inside it, fill it with grit, and then when I'm ready to strike, shah! The Grit 9000 is ready to go. So that was my long-winded way of saying I'm putting holes in the bucket to scatter grit. Hey! Content! All right, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna drill a bunch of holes in it and... Oh, oh, oh okay. Um, yeah, I don't really think about it doing a snapping effect or noise, but you know, we'll, we'll, ju we'll just see. And for now, we'll only put four holes in it. I really wasn't expecting that, to be fair. Maybe I need to be a bit careful. Yeah, see, that, see that's what I was going for. A calm hole. Instead, I got this rocket ship destroyed into the side of it. We'll just, we'll just ignore that and we'll just take our time. So I'm going to go for just four holes for now. Yeah, look at that. That's a that's grit city, baby. All right, then I'm going to do one here. So we've got one on every side. Well, can there be a side of the bucket? I don't think so. All right, there we go. We have now got four grit holes for our grit to come out of, but... I don't think that's enough. I think when we're scattering, it, it, it's just not going to be enough. So I think what we're going to need to do is add one in the bottom of the middle. Okay. So this is going to go through here. Because this will get rid of, like, you know, the center of mass that will get stuck. And I think we should put in I think one here. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. This is so good. Hey, one pound bucket. Like, I, I don't understand how being q haven't given me a lifetime supply in one pound buckets. As to how many buckets class is a one lifetime supply, I don't know. But listen, I, I, I make use out of all of them. But two more holes, and I think the, 
The <laughs> so Grit Face 9000 is going to be ready. And the name just keeps evolving every time. And that's all she wrote. Okay, look at that. I think I'm a genius. If I just plunk that into that, the grit will stay in it until I'm ready to strike. Yeah. Let's test it. What did you do at um, 10 to midnight uh, last night? Because uh, this is what I did. Now, I'm going to have to whisper at this point because it's very late and I'm on the front of my house. I did think this head torch would do the job of being able to see everywhere, but this was stupid and I might as well harness the power of the sun. Let there be light. That'll do. All right. So in theory, this should work. I've got it loaded up with grit. All I've got to do now is release stage one. Okay, I thought the grit was going to come flying out of it and it didn't. But if I'm a genius, I should just spin it. I think we're going to need more holes. All right. For God's sake, this setting is so annoying. Right, what I'm going to do is drill four holes in the bottom of the bucket. Hopefully, it should be enough. Four holes later, I'm ready to give her another go. Are you ready? And release stage one. Okay, thought someone's gonna come out again, but it's not. Right, now shake. What's, what's going on? I think we need more holes. That'll do, donkey. Okay, introducing the, the grip bucket 9002. We remove stage one and begin. drive <laughs> you've got a love a try there i would like to point out how efficiently it is spreading the grit because it's scattering it rather than clumping it which is a great success but i wonder if it's the the motion that i'm doing maybe i need to go for more of a jig yes that's the one this is it Honestly surprised I've not had a phone call off one of my neighbours asking whether or not I'm being broken into by someone drilling through my locks. Because it's now ten past midnight, so I better hurry up, get this grit down and get to bed. <laughs> Is what I called a drive well gritted. Look at it. I've got it absolutely everywhere down the back, all at the top, and we should be good to get off this drive. I did kind of forget to go beyond the gate, but I used all my grit. Psych! We're all strapped. Perfecto. Lydia and Alfie should be able to get off the drive. A okay. All right. I've tidied up the workbench for my next task because that made a right mess. And we will find out whether or not I stalled enough time for my phone to be finished. 53.1 gigabytes left. 25 past midnight. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna be a task for tomorrow because it is officially tomorrow. So you could say, do it now, but no way. Little dude's tired, Lydia's tired, and I'm ready to get to bed because I've got to go to the gym tomorrow where we're hopefully making those gains. And speaking of gains, you guys have absolutely been supporting the channel like crazy. And I just wanna say a massive thank you to every single person who has clicked that subscribe button. You are helping get us closer to 2.6 million subs. So if you are one of the 15 point like 8% of people who watch these vlogs who haven't made a YouTube channel and click that subscribe button, go ahead and do so. That way you'll get notified of every time I post a new video, which is 7 p.m. every weekday for your faces. And it'll allow you to comment, leave like ratings, and just get involved with this community, which is just absolutely amazing. And it will mean the world to me. So just honestly, thank you so much to everyone who's been showing the love on the videos recently. Today's that I uploaded has nearly got 100,000 views in less than five and a half hours. Absolutely insane because you guys are just on another level. So just truly, thank you so much for the support, but I'm gonna love you guys. I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna say good night from me. Adios. A goodbye from my future wifey. Oh. And a goodbye from my son. Can you say bye bye?
<laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching and as always, a sa de hoss. <laughs>